hello and welcome to the channel so today i've got ape man a77 action camera i'm going to take you straight into this and we're going to check out what is it like and quality but with the ape man a77 action camera i've been happy because it's a 4k action camera firstly let me give you the specs actually first so 30 meters waterproof in its waterproof casing 20 megapixel photos 4k ultra hd video we'll check that out we'll check the dimensions and stuff i'll give you examples lcd display two inches so timer shooting remote shooting loop recording that's a good thing because you know we like to do a different types of videos with our cameras there's one on the screen there we go two batteries excellent i won't mess with the little accessories i'll show you that separately ape man branded battery 1050 milliamp hours which is great i normally keep one long nail especially for action camera opening and i put the cable in ape man offers you camera mode so for those that follow us and want to use an action camera as a webcam it allows that okay so this is the camera ape man a77 it's a 4k action camera however if you use it via usb as a webcam like i'm doing right now you only get 720p the audio you listen to is separate it's not coming from the camera directly one of my other examples will show you what the camera audio sounds like so right now this camera is at 720p in obs you can do what i'm doing right now which is stretching out the picture which fills a 1080p canvas so this is the quality you can expect from it there's a few settings in there where you can set the iso and different settings but this gives you an idea of the frame rate and stuff so this is an example of an a77 ape man action camera a nice wide angle view so i would recommend them i'll put a link in the description so you can actually go and pick up the cameras and i can confirm it works very straightforward to use plugged in via usb cable micro usb to usb and it just let you select pc camera mode and off you go in your live stream it will come up as 720p for live cam uh, live webcam usage but for the additional recording you can set it up so that you can record in up to 4k is great and you get a whole host of additional accessories these are all linked in uh, the guide and it actually shows you how to use them all and the best thing about it is they do it does come with a cable i use a slightly longer cable but it does come with a micro usb to usb cable which you can use for the webcam what does 4k action camera hdmi video look like i'm going to show you an example right now because i've got the camera set up and letting you know what i think about them I'm using action cameras as live streaming cameras to see how they perform. You got a quick little preview there. I'm using my uh, keyboard here with F numbers. Auto shut down after five seconds. Excellent. So you have to turn off the auto shut off mode uh, on the camera. And there's a great example of why you will get rainbow lines. If you're not familiar with rainbow lines, they come because there's no video feed from the camera. Let me turn that camera back on for you right now. I've plugged it in wire mini hdmi it's just powering on now so it takes a few seconds you'll see that live hopefully yes there we go so you'll see the first issue i'm having here is that's the a77 i've plugged it in wire mini hdmi out how's the sync look the color is not excellent i've gone through the menu i've checked the settings it's not on sunny or cloudy mode or one of those auto modes on okay so if you're thinking about using your ape man a77 action camera as a hdmi camera i'm using a mini hdmi which goes on the side of the camera to a hdmi capture card via usb into my computer it's probably laggy it looks like it's laggy you've got menus so don't consider thinking about using this as a hdmi camera if you want to use it for that purpose can you get audio let me see i'll turn this mic off and see if we can get audio uh, auto and i've put it on well i think it overrides it all but look at that menu i'm not too happy with that i couldn't find a way in the camera to get rid of the top header which the timestamp and the video at 4k 30 frames a second so is it good to use a 4k action camera while the hdmi out questionable because what you could do is plug in a mini usb uh, micro usb mini usb micro usb into the camera and other usb into your computer and you'll get a video feed which would be a lot better compared to well you'll get it a lot more like that it'll be wider view but this gives you an idea of what the video looks like on a 4k ape man action camera if you're using it 
for the purpose I'm showing you here. Okay, we were unable to get the audio to go out of the HDMI cable, so I was hoping the on-camera audio would come out, but it looks like it does not. Let me try adding it as a source just in case. Video, no audio cap, audio output capture, audio input capture, audio input capture, default digital three. Would that be? Is that the? Nah, nah, nah. Desktop audio, nah, nah, nah. To support this video, I've got a link in the description to my mailing list. Make sure to sign up to that and you'll get an instant email with help sheets, guides and frequently asked questions which will help you get through this journey. Quick look at the 8man A77 to let you know what the video quality looks like. This is recording 1080p at 60 frames a second. Microphone is directly on the, mic, uh, the camera itself. What does it sound like? I'm recording on the SD card. A77 action camera and let's have a look at it so there it actually surprised me for the photos if you, you could saw a sneak peek there that is an actual photo taken on this action camera i'm going to speak to you about the specs and let you know what the camera offers what the photos look like and considering the photos that i have been seeing on cheap action cameras you know what it's actually quite impressive because this one is a 4k action camera and it is it does have the sensor that it, it says it has some of the other cameras don't so this 4k action camera records at a resolution for 4k video 30 frames a second there are different models in this line which i'll do separate videos on in the past video that i made you would have seen sample video of 4k if you missed that one check in the cards i'll link it to the playlist i've made a playlist specifically for this camera but let's jump into it let me show you the actual photos and you can be well you can let me know what you think of them but i was quite impressed so here's the first photo actually it's not the first it's a second photo let me show you the first that was the first so if you know anything about photography and light and you don't want to take it at the time but i took it when it was basically sun is sitting in my face so that picture there shows you that it's backlit and obviously it's a black dog so you can't see any detail in it but we did a bit of messing about we switched sides and this is the same location i just turned around the sun's behind me and you can see there's a bit more detail there and for a camera of this caliber it's not too bad because there's enough detail there okay it's 4608 by 3456 dimensions which is a amount of pixels that the photo makes so it's kind of like a square format which is why it fills this square nicely uh, the file is about three to four megabytes depending on what photo you're taking and you can see there's a nice selection of pictures here different light variations and it gives you an idea of what the photos can look like so what else is it okay so some of these were taken at f 2.6 f-stop so you're familiar with photography there are different aspects of that you can adjust in the camera manually so you can go in and say don't go above a certain iso these were taken at 100 iso 2.6 and 200 shutter speed so it gave me nice photos and you can see that one of these is my favorite way let me show you these. these are just random shots which i took in between doing the the video clips just so i got a nice selection of them that's a nice one there again there will be wide shots so you can see that's a nice location shot let's have a look at some of the details here so obviously it's not a dslr camera but you know what it's on par with a mobile phone normally i tend to say use your mobile phone it'll be better photos than your action camera but in this case nah the action camera actually did okay you can probably see that twice now up there and down there so yeah that is a look at that photos let me show you a few more his eyes were closed there which shows you the shutter speed being quicker would have helped and let's check that's just uh, okay i'll zoom in okay i like that one i use that as a thumbnail i think look that is quite let's go into his eye let's go how far can i go in okay there we go so that's his eye let's zoom back out he's got a nice bit of a head tilt going on that was a nice shot looking away and it's back to the start again so that was a quick look at the types of photos you can achieve from an action camera while you're here let me show you quickly what dimensions you can take the photos on i will make a separate video about the full specs and how to use the camera so it makes it easy for you to use but i want to show you the settings on it so if i go to 
the mode, let it boot up. So that's turned on. What mode is it on right now? Photo, excellent. So now let's look at some of the settings. To go to settings, you basically keep OK pressed down. Let's go in the side menus, go down to settings, OK, image size 16 megapixels. There is also 13 megapixels available, 8 megapixels, and 20. I should have taken it in 20. Those are all taken at 16 megapixels. Oh no. Okay, we'll do a few more photos. So that means it will actually get bigger. So if I do 20 megapixels, you got white balance, you can adjust white balance. Oh, you can't see this. Okay. I should have done this. There you go. Now we're talking. Okay. So I'm going to have to adjust that. I'll, I'll edit that. Behind. Okay. So for. Okay. So let's do that again. Okay, so okay, so I powered up the camera now, and I'll show you the camera settings. So right now we are in camera by that little camera there, and it's at photo twenty megapixels. You basically hold the OK button down, and it'll go into the menu. And now we can go to the settings by pressing OK again, and then we can go using the side. We can go down the menu. Oh, are we already down? So if I go up, oh no, OK. okay let's hold that down. Go to settings and then mode. Yeah, so it's mode. Mode image size is available. It's 20 megapixels, 16, 13, 8, and that's it. So that's a good option because if you want to do different photos and not edit them afterwards, you want them to be a certain size because you might think 20 megapixels is too big. So that's why they give you different options. So if you hit mode again, it'll come back to the other menu. Then you can go down and check white balance. You've got a few options there for different days and lights. So this is uh, quite handy if you're on a cloudy day. It kind of gives your uh, image a difference. And uh, we've got exposure. We've got metering mode. I put it on average. We could have put it on spot, which would have been nice. But because I had a black dog, that was why I put it on average. Because I didn't want it to be everything blown out. So that's why we got decent pictures. Sharpness, I put middle. Long exposure, you can do... ISO I left at auto, but you can go actually 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 6400. So that is a nice varying options of ISOs. You can't see that on DSLR cameras. So it's interesting that it came on an action camera. But yeah, very impressive so far. Let's go back. And time watermark. And driving mode. Which is basically if you plug it into your USB while you're driving, it'll record and act like a dash cam. That's quite a good option. Time watermark is basically where the time shows in the picture, which you can see in an example I can show you here. Let me bring it back to desktop. So in the top corner here, you can see there's a little time stamp of the date and time. If you need that for reference, it is a good thing to have. If you don't, you can turn it off from here. What else do we have on here? Okay, that's back to there. So that was everything for photo. So that's actually quite handy now that's the photo qualities and you've seen the images i'm hoping this helps you decide if an action camera is good for your purpose but yeah considering what it was you know what fair dues ape man you're a man but you're an ape see you guys on the next video which will show you more about the camera and me going through the journey with the a77 action camera i've used it as a webcam i've used it for 4k video i've used it for photos what is next you'll find out in the next video okay you have to download the app let me show you on screen right now here you'll see the app and once you download the app it looks something like this one thing i didn't like about it is you have to create an account and da 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 da, da. so why not just let me have an account and access the wi-fi what did i have to do yeah anyway so you get the camera you get the app android app android market app Ma ape man app app that rhymes ape man app man yeah yeah that's a new maker camera there mate app man okay so ooh, yeah you download the app you sign in well it asks you to create an account make sure you put a legit email address in there it'll send you a code check your spam folder it might have gone in your spam it'll be a four digit code put it in i've logged in this is the first screen do you want to extend your warranty let's think about that later okay so now let me turn the camera on I'm using the A77 here. I've got the A100 and the A87 as well. So let's hold that and turn that on. Um, okay, so that one's come on. That is the A. Yeah, that's the A77. The other one is the A87. 
87 is touch screen. So what you do on the camera, you got two buttons. You keep the top button pressed and it'll go into the Wi-Fi mode, he says. Keep it pressed. Okay, yeah. So you keep up pressed and by pressing up, it goes onto the screen and you drop everything on the floor there. So it's telling me the Wi-Fi is active and it's telling me the action name and the password and what I need to do. So I do match camera. Make sure the camera is turned on. Turn on your camera Wi-Fi hotspot. Yeah, it's on. So manual connection. Just refresh that. Oh, action camera 3887. So the reason I know it's my action camera is on my screen here also says action camera 387. The password is the Wi-Fi password here. So it's a nice secure one. How far does it go? 890. Connect. Connecting to action camera and connected so let's go back to the app and it's saying wi-fi connect successful and there it's saying connect the wi-fi network has no internet access connect anyway connect and enter camera oh there we go so could it be any easier no it couldn't but you know what we did the let me does that auto rotate okay no so now if i put the camera here you can't see that yeah, i've put it there let me zoom you into my screen so you can see this so some people have said they've had trouble with the wi-fi video slow loop slowly loop i might have them let me go to photo and take a photo okay so it's thinking about it remember it's wi-fi so it might be a bit slower connecting photo so oh, shoes on my shoes on my okay so let me do a quick wave and a photo oh yeah and it tells you there's no sd card and no sd in the camera because the sd card is right here mate because i took it out that was wi-fi let me go back on my recording that was how to do your wi-fi for your ape man i want to make a condensed down version of this because this was like just a live one take test so i might condense this down and give you another version just straight to the point